Hey guys, it's Ray. Welcome back to my channel. Today, a dev update came out for Palea the day before the event, and so I'm super excited to go over it for everybody who has not heard about the update yet. Um, so we're just going to be looking through it, reading it, like always, with all the updates that I've done that so far. Um, so yeah. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're enjoying Palea and my Palea content. Um, and we're going to jump right into the dev update notes. Um, and it says, welcome to the first of many dev updates for Palea. Dev updates are regular check-ins from the Palea development team where we cover your most requested features and hot topics of the day. We aim to have these out to you at least monthly with respect to our current development status. While we won't be able to cover all of the excellent and helpful feedback we've received across Discord, Reddit, and our socials and surveys, we are excited to kick this off by talking about some of the frequently requested features players have been asking about that are already in the works. Okay, so it sounds like we're gonna go over a couple of different topics and maybe some subtopics. So the first one, coming soon. Decor interactivity. Ooh, sitting, lying down, and generally interactable furniture. So that's super excited because I know a lot of people, including myself, were not super happy with the fact that we couldn't sit down in a chair and just relax. What players are asking for, more things to do with all the decor you've collected, particularly being able to sit on a chair, lay on a bed, etc. Decor interactivity has been on our wish list for a long time, and we're finally jumping in head first. While we know the top request is for sitting on chairs, some technical hurdles have caused it to not be the first addition we'll be making in this area, but we're focused on overcoming and delivering that feature soon. Okay, so it's not coming out tomorrow with this new patch, but it should be coming out pretty soon. It says, we're actively working on sitting, laying down, turning lights on and off, opening and closing cabinets and drawers, and turning water on and off. So I'm wondering as far as cabinets goes and, and water, like as far as cabinets, are we going to be able to put stuff inside of cabinets now as well? To help hold you over until we deliver sitting on decor, we will be adding a sit and kneel emote to your default loadout. Oh, I wonder, wonder how that'll work. Um, some improvements to the crafting workbench. There have been a lot of requests for menu and interface improvements to the crafting workbench. As players learn more and more decor recipes, it can be pretty tedious to scroll through the menu if you want to make a few dozen candles, arrows, and smoke bombs. It is very tedious. Because I've been grinding, hunting for money, and having to sit and scroll down to make 200 plus arrows is so tedious. Robust workbench filtering and crafting in stacks is currently in development. And we aim to have this out in the next two months. Yikes. Live issues could delay release, but these features are currently a priority. So that's at least good. The request system. The request system is intended to be a quick and easy way of altruistically helping other players in your area that you have established an emotional, a social connection with. It's a gifting system. Our current assessment of the iteration of the system is that it's not living up to its potential. So we're making the following set of changes over the next several patches. We're allowing requests for fulfillment from storage anywhere, increasing the clarity on request cooldowns, reducing the cooldowns, adding the ability to request star quality items, and very likely more to come. Yeah, I don't really personally use the request very often. I think I had a quest that said I had to request a certain amount of items and then do a like fill out a request. Uh, like at the beginning of the game but I haven't really used it since then to be honest uh, it says note the request system is not meant to be a replacement or standard for open trading which we discuss more directly in a future blog post because I know, I know a lot of people want that 
that open trade. All right, new character customization features. Ooh, we've already announced that beards are on our list in the GD letter a few weeks ago. We're verified that some of the performance concerns with adding these lower end machines have been brought up with budget uh, furry faces. Okay, so they're worried about lower end consoles. Well, not consoles, but lower end, I guess, specs maybe. Lighter skin tones are a very popular requests and are very much on our short list. Yeah, my my girl is kind of tan compared to like me. I'm very very pale. They have actually been blocked for a while due to our lighting concerns. Specifically, lighter skin tones appear blown out by our current lighting at various times of the day. I do know that they brightened. They brightened the daytime. It used to be a little darker. Now it's now it's kind of bright. Specifically, oh, luckily we have an experienced lighting artist looking into not just enabling lighter skin tones, but also a variety of lighting improvements. Okay, cool. Of course, you would be able to make the change without a hotly requested character customization feature added. The ability to customize core aspects of your character post-character creation. We'll add this feature along the, alongside the first new feature or content that requires an order existing player experiment with new options so i believe this this is talking about how would you first create your character and it's like hey you can't fix your character make sure you're paying attention because i totally like messed my character up and i don't remember like taking my time to make my character like i should have i was kind of just ready to jump into the game um so i'm pretty sure this is talking about getting to go back and like customize your skin tone your face your eyes your things like that because I did give my girl like pink eyes. <laughs> All right. Gardening. Ability to destroy crops to rearrange soil plots. Did you plant a seed in the wrong plot? Or maybe you just earned a new crop that you want to try out right away? Well, another quality of life feature is currently in development. The ability to destroy your crops so you can rearrange your plots right away. We'll be sure to share all the details of how this works in the patch notes when it releases. We don't have any hard data attached. Yeah. Because... You don't know how many times I've wanted to like redo stuff and I'm like, okay, these tomatoes have been here for a very long time. I'm stuck waiting until these tomatoes are done. All right. Finishing the temple quests for folks who've been playing three, you probably completed one of the first temples that Gina wanted you to investigate and are thirsty for more. If not, don't worry. Take your time getting there. But for those who have had, you'll notice a couple more spots in the night sky temple that have been activated. You'll be happy to know we're continuing to add to the story and the update of the game. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. We're excited to give you more. You can think of what we're delivering simply as a prologue to the story that we hope to bring players for as long as you'll have us. We're excited for you to experience things we have in store. Redacted, reacted. Okay, so this is, I'm, I'm curious what this is. Of course, we all know what you want to redact, redact, and react, react more on this soon. So I'm wondering if it has to do with um, certain things. I, I wonder if they're going to talk about um, romance, romance options. I'm not, I'm not just yet in the romanceable aspect of the game. I have like one person at level three. Um, and like I have two people really close that I would like to romance. But I'm kind of at that point where it's like, is there a point to it? Like the romance part, like the friendship you need a shop. But as far as romance goes, is there a reason for it yet? Like I know you can romance two people, but it's like what's after that? Once I give them that thing and we're now like dating in quotes, like we're, we're romancing each other, then what? Do you know what I mean? Like there's no like, Oh, let's go like at Porsche where you, they'll ask you on a date. You have these date quests and you know what I mean? They don't move into your plot. You don't have these cut scenes. You don't, at least as far as I'm aware, um, I might have to do more re research on that, but I wonder if they're going to implement that because it's like I'm making my homestead so beautiful for my significant other to live like nowhere near me and be on the same route every single day doing what they're doing it almost makes you feel like it's not even worth really exploring the romance part of it i'm still gonna flirt i'm still gonna try but it's just i'm curious if they're they're ever gonna mention that um on the horizon we have a lot to, of work to do to prepare for the upcoming release on switch 
and continuing to improve our server, s server stability in queue times. I've really not had that many problems with queue times. We've made a lot of strides in the first three weeks of open beta, but we know there's still a lot to do. There are a few additional features we have on our radar for release in the next couple of months. Proximity text chat, maintaining chat history across map transfers, which comes out tomorrow with the new uh, Maji event. Uh, deeper permission controls for friends on your housing plot. I don't have a problem with this because I don't have friends <laughs> coming to my plot. Um, community progression activities and more, which again, I don't participate in personally. Updates on flow tree availability, please. I feel like I see one or two every couple of hours and then it's like spur of the moment. I, I find more flow trees in Bahari Bay um, and more things on multiplayer, which I personally do not partake in. Um, I play solo dolo. Um, hot topics and notable bugs. While beta is expected to come with a fair share about a fair share, a fair amount of stumbles, we that were wait what? There were some notable issues and missteps that impacted our players, namely a bug where housing plots overlapped and a bug that impacted players storage slightly. Uh, merging plots and missing items. I did hear about this, but I heard of it as like people taking stuff from your plots. Um, a major bug that came up was causing players crops and other uh, other items to merge with fellow players plus allowing these players to harvest the wayward crops the frustration with this bug was heightened by reports and some players could come to your housing plot uninvited to mess with your items see i i did hear about that i never had any issues but i did hear about it paley is meant to feel like you're home away from home and any instance of an unwanted visitor that to that home immediately takes away the feeling of safety. This goes against the very foundation of what we wanted to achieve at Palea. It was treated as a high priority. Both of these reported concerns were addressed in a hot fix of the, the first patch that we already went over in the video. I'll link it down below, uh, which we have observed fixed. They observed and fixed the issues that were reported. We've also kept the security work going to ensure preventing instances from happening in the future. But if you're affected by this, re report it. On their other link, their support page. All right, the storage bug fix. I don't know about this, but I have the biggest problem with storage. I never have enough, and I already have like three lock boxes. And I, oh god, I love organized storage, and I just, oh god. Storage of Palea has broadly been a hot topic of the community, and is something that we expect we'll be making some notable updates in the future, addressing some of the core points of feedback. In this post, we will specifically want to talk about the bug fix to our storage system that has greatly impacted a lot of players. It always been our intention that a player only has to go through the storage progression arc a single time on their character. Okay, I got confused for a second. To support this alongside our multiplayer house plot feature, we set up your storage items will contr uh, still contribute to your storage capacity even when you're not using the plot you've actually placed them on. Specifically, we wanted to enable the freedom of decorating a housing slot with as few or as many storage access points as you desired. This opens us up for an unfortunate miss and validation process followed by a miss and how we rolled out the fix in the live game. We shipped with a bug in which players could subvert the storage placement limit by placing storage chests on other plots. I did hear about this actually. We then fixed that bug and many players had already utilized the bug and in place of the, the additional wood tier chests. When we fixed the bug, many of these players were suddenly in a state in which they had a fa uh, far more items in their storage than the limits allowed them. This forced players to figure out what to do with the items in their storage and get them back. Uh, additionally, obtaining the copper tier storage upgrade is very expensive, so it wasn't an option for many players at the time. Yeah, I'm like saving my money up for the event, and like this is the most money I've had. I think I had like 13k or something in game, and I'm like, I know that's still not enough. <laughs> um, even though you could pick up the storage items while they were over capacity without issue, it was a mass severely impacting the player's experience. We then rolled that fix out to players without support to help the players that would be affected by the change and without sufficient alerting to players that they would go into a different state, difficult state. We also should have provided better clarity for how players could get out of the situation and better yet create a way to adjust the live game um, for putting players into that broken state to begin with. I, I do know on TikTok a lot of people talked about this bug and that people should be careful exploiting said bug because when the hotfix happened they would lose their stuff 
so I, I get it. Sharp lessons were learned in the process, and we sincerely apologize for those affected. Expect upcoming changes to take place uh, to take better account to the live player experience in the future. This doesn't put a dent in the hundreds of other features um, and improvements we have planned that you've asked for. Like our game director says, as a player, you can take in a commitment to you. Wait. Like our game director says, as a player, you can take it as a commitment to you that the best version of Palea is always in front of us. That's why we're pulling back the curtain by providing more updates like this regularly. In the meantime, keep letting us know what you want to see through Palea's socials. Hope to see you there. So I'm super excited that they're jumping on it. The devs already have an update. Really quickly, it seems they're taking it very seriously, especially with their first content update coming out tomorrow. Uh, which I'm super excited to explore and experience. But what are your thoughts on the updates and all of the bugs that have been noted? Let me know down below. Um, and yeah, I'll be playing the event tomorrow um, and posting an update for that, going over the update that I've done offline again, all of the material grinding and everything fun with that. Um, so again, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you do enjoy Paleo or other content that I have been posting. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, with the new event. So as always, thank you for watching and goodbye, friends.